Hello everyone, welcome back to the gaming table. Today, something a little different. It does fall in line with uh, naval miniature battle rules that I've been trying out. Um, lately I've been doing a lot of tabletop mini, or topside minis, and I really enjoy those, and I was like, well, maybe it's time to take the plunge and get some miniatures. Miniatures are still expensive. They haven't come down in price, but if you buy the right scale, they can come down in price. What's the scale, you might say? How about one six thousand? <laughs> They're tiny. Uh, I don't know exactly how small all of these will be, but um, GHQ, for example, CNC, and some other places do ships in like one uh, one twenty four hundred scale, two thousand four hundred. And those are still kind of small, but you know, lengthy. You can see them in good detail. And then there's even more scales I'm learning about. There's bigger. There's 1,200, 1,800, 1,250, 3,000, 1,400. So there's a lot of scales out there. I tried 6,000 because it seemed very cost efficient. What did I get? Now, first of all, this I got these off of. Um, the last square is the place I got these from. And they seem to have a whole bunch of stuff in in uh, this one six thousand. Oh, the actual manufacturer is Figurehead, but I got it off of the Last Stand website. So Figurehead, and I read somewhere that this company Figurehead is like the only one that does things in one six thousand scale right now. So I was like, well, let's try it out, and here they are. They're so cute. Let's let's zoom in a lot. Whew. Yeah, this is like putting the camera on maximum s zoom. Wow, that was too close. Yeah, so if I sneeze, the camera is going to shake like crazy. Uh, so there it is. Now, what's cool is it does come with a little base, a little tiny base. But there's actually spot a flat spot on the end of the base where you could affix maybe a flag, nationality flag or something. And I'm afraid of losing one of these. <laughs> I never thought I'd be afraid of losing a miniature. But I gotta be careful because I don't want to lose the tag with the ship. Alright, well there's there's one of the bases. Let's hold that up. Ah, look at that. So it's got the wave and water textures. Yeah, and I'm gonna have to spend some time trying to flatten them out a little bit. Um, but that's that's cool. I tell you, I've got zoomed in so much it's gonna take me a moment to find out where the camera is every time I look at something. So that's cool. And then the ship fits right there. Alright, so the ship fits on there very nice. But what about the detail? Well, obviously when you get this small. You're going to have problems with like radar masts and antenna masts and stuff. But I see a, like a, maybe two smokestacks. I see the con tower. The, I do see the, the turrets. <laughs> like I said, if I barely shift, it goes right off the camera. So I, I can see everything. Now, this is the Exeter, it says. The York Exeter class. Not that that's a huge ship anyway. It's a cruiser. But... Um, I should have a couple others that are big. Now this is definitely going to give me lots of table maneuverability. Let's see what else we got here. Well, as you can see, we got a few. Is there anything stuck in here? All right, so we ended up getting uh, Groff Spay in this one. It says Sharn Horse. Maybe that's a Sharn Horse. Oh, Shear. Okay. Uh, here again, we're zoomed in. Sorry, I'm trying to get all this. Okay, Oigan. Uh, what's it say here? Oh, King George. This is good because this will give me my Prince of Wales. And see, this was like I think the King George times three. This one was like seven dollars for three ships. What do we got here? Then this one says the Hood. And again, this has like three three ships in there of that class. And they're, they're a lot bigger. I mean, they're relatively bigger. This is Turpit and Bismarck. And again, this was like five bucks to get Turpits and Bismarck. And finally, 
this was the Leander class, so this should give me my Ajax, Achilles, and whatnot. Yeah, they're small. Let's pull one out here. Let's grab Terps, Bismarck. Terps. Sorry, again, where the camera normally would pick stuff up isn't picking stuff up because I zoomed it in a little, a little bit. So I apologize for that. But I'll try and get this back on camera just as soon as I can. Let's grab one of these. So again, uh, just to flatten it out, I'm just going to put it on the table and just push down and get it flat. And then there's the water base. So that's neat. Because someone said you might want to base these. This will sit flat for sure. Oh man, if you had a map game, oh, this, this is great. Oh, if I just had a nice hex map of the ocean, I could so totally play all kinds of games. These are cool. Um, it definitely feels more like a toy than a naval warfare miniature, but you know, maybe when I paint it up. Uh, come here, camera, work with me. Actually, I gotta work with the camera. So there's the front. Come here and focus. Now, without being painted, it's gonna be really hard to see a lot of the detail. I mean, I can see secondaries, I can see the turrets, I can see some of the barreling. Um, and I've seen the way folks have painted these, and you can get some of that detail, but obviously, it's gonna be very hard to see the final product. Uh, I think most people are used to assembling their ship, putting it on the table, and you can stand back a couple feet and see it. Uh, maybe once this is painted, it'll be a little bit better, but on a six by four table, I could see how these would get lost. But I can also see why people like this scale, because when I play this on a six by four table, um, it will have a much better representation of figure scale to terrain scale. Just like I know some people like playing their World War II games, believe it or not, in three millimeter Pico, but that really gives you a sense of scale and distance. And I think this will do something similar. I might, over time, pick up some bigger scales. The uh, CNC company, CINC, and if you just put CINC miniatures, they do a scale in 14800, which I would like to try. They don't have quite the selection, but they might be encouraged to get more of a selection. And the price isn't that much different, and you seem to get... Uh, around like 11 ships per pack and, and they're almost charging like a dollar a ship. Um, so probably next time I, I have some disposable income I might get some in the 14800 scale. I don't know if I want to go above the 3000. The 24 is what a lot of people recommend for the amount of detail and I admit they look great. I mean if price wasn't an option I'd be getting the 1800 scale. I would love to have a toy here on the table, but in terms of price and, you know, again, figure scale, you would need a very, very, very large table to have somewhat realistic looking happenings going on in that scale. But anyway, just thought I would share with you some of the new things that came in. I, I don't know, this is going to be hard to show you every single ship, possibly when I'm done painting them then maybe we can look at them again and see how they are painted. Uh, otherwise, it's very hard to make out what is what on these things in just the bare metal. So there it is. Navy ships. Alright, thanks for tuning in. You know what to do down below if you're on the YouTube comments or wherever. Leave some thoughts. Share your ideas, opinions, and we'll get back to you. Take care.